Beast, we are live. What's going on, guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to Beauty and the Beast, episode one. Episode one? Oh, we're a new one. We're starting this thing over. Yeah. We're in our new studio, um, and uh, it's looking pretty good, wouldn't you say, Peanut? I mean, your side is looking good. You're on your side, though, so it looks great. What are you talking about? I need stuff in the background. You got stuff. You got cool stuff above you. So. Too high. We got to fix it. All right. We'll, we'll get something figured out. What's going on, guys? Hope everybody's well. Today, we wanted to do a quick couple-minute review of a film that I've been, what would you say? I've been... Uh, enamored just, with? I've been enamored with this film. I've watched it how many times now, you think? Seven? I've watched it a lot. It's Smile, 2022 Parker Finn's film, Smile. And uh, I remember initially seeing the trailer of this film. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know if I would like yeah. it. And um, I ended up loving this movie. I ended up falling deeply in love with it and wanting so much more out of the lore of the film. For those, pretty much everybody should have seen this movie by now, don't you think? I would hope so, but who knows? So the, the synopsis of the film is... After witnessing a bizarre traumatic incident involving a patient, Dr. Rose Cotter starts experiencing frightening occurrences that she can't explain. Rose must confront her troubling past. And uh, it's a really, really terrifying film. <laughs> now, this movie has some of the most incredible acting that I've seen in a long time. Um, the, the, the movie is helmed and led by Sosie Bacon, who is Kevin Bacon... The uh, the you know critical and awesome actor's daughter. Yeah. Did that surprise you at all? Oh uh, yeah, part? actually, I had no idea he even yeah. had a daughter. <laughs> yeah, she's a she's an old lady now. She's about your age. Um, and I didn't know old? how how good of yeah she. You're old. Yeah, you're as old as I was when I met you. You're old. You were old. I'm not old. Uh-huh. So Sussy Bacon. <sighs> is such an incredible actress. I don't know what she went through in this movie to get herself mentally into the state that she had to be in in order to pull off these shots. Um, a girl walks into uh, Rose Cotter's um, psychiatric ward. It's like a place for the mentally disturbed where it's, this doctor works. It's the emergency, like, one. Yeah. So it's not just normal people. It's for emergencies. That's You know, I go to the emergency barber shop, so this is the same thing. This place is for the people who are really nuts. And she's she's a hard worker, this this uh, psychiatrist. And she stayed overnight working, and her boss is like, you need to go home. And on her way out, her phone rings, and she turns around and picks up the phone. And she hears that there's this patient, a new patient that's coming to her office. And they want her to go down and assess this, this, this uh, new patient. And so she goes into her office, and that's where she finds this girl named Laura standing in the corner. And Laura looks petrified. She looks terrified. She's shaking. She's looking all around. And the doctor starts to ask her what's going on. And I, this is going to be spoiler free, but it's really an incredible film. This girl, uh, who her name is Caitlin Stacy. She's an incredible actress. Uh, she is actually yeah. from the short film that this movie is based on. And uh, she starts to tell the doctor that she could, she's seeing something. She's a PhD student. She's not crazy. She knows where she is. She knows what day it is. But there's something that looks like people from her past and her present. And whenever she sees it, it's doing things in her life and wreaking havoc on her life. And it's smiling at her. And it has a really creepy smile. And she said whenever she sees a smile, she feels like something really bad's going to happen. And of course, a professional, uh, Rose, Rose Cotter, starts to talk to her and try to reassure her that it's all in your head. You're going to be fine. And that's when the cavalcade of insanity starts to happen. And the, the film starts to unravel rather quickly where you see a person come from being in a, in a state of mental soundness. And you see the deconstruction of the human mind and the human psyche as something unexplainable starts to happen that is quantifiable and real to the person it's happening to. What did you think about this movie, Peanut? It was the best horror movie we've seen in many years. Many years. Because 
I always go into movies expecting it to be horrible. Lately, they have been, like all of them that we've seen. And this is not like a super, like super scary, you know, give you nightmares kind of thing. I don't think to me it wasn't, but it was like a good, scary, like if this was happening to you, you would act the exact same way as she was in the film. Yeah, I'd probably be a little bit more terrified than she was uh, in the film because of the way this thing, it's it's not like a gimmicky type of film. Most films, they have like these gimmicky jump scares. In this film, I feel like the jump scares were all warranted. They were legit, and, and yeah. They all felt like they had weight and they really did something psychologically to you. And and the way that the, the, the cinematography is done, they had these transitional shots where upside it, down. Yeah, it'd be upside down over the city or above cars, and it just made you feel uneasy. Mm-hmm. And and so it's kind of like the original Jaws. Uh, Jaws Part One was really good, and the reason it was so good, I think, is because you really didn't see much of the shark until you saw the shark, and it was over. It wasn't like people were constantly looking outside and seeing the fin of the shark trying to get him. It was a a human story about something that was insurmountable that was going to come and get you. And I felt very similar to that in this film because it didn't show this thing every five minutes. You know, I've seen movies like Mirrors and some of the other older films that had, um, you know, these same type of ideas where the characters would be smiling and you're dead. But it would happen so often, it took away the weight of what was happening. This felt like this felt like this is tangible in my mind. And it felt like maybe the, the director, his name is Parker Finn. This is his first, this is a, his directorial debut. So he is a beast for doing that. I just, I can't wait to see what he does next. But I felt like this came from some kind of lore that this might actually have been a historic or old story or something that something like this may have happened in the past. And it terrified the hell out of me. It really, really did. I like how it was kind of, it was only happening to her and everybody else was so oblivious to what was going on. Well, they the thing, had no idea. The thing is, um, what, the, the way that you react if something was happening to you like this, people would start to think you were crazy. Well, yeah, and, exactly. And it wasn't like she was just hallucinating. This thing can actually come into your world and do things and harm harm you or, or change the layout of your home or you know I'm not going to say what it can make it, things happen yeah it can make things happen and so when that kind of shit was going down people were looking at her thinking it was her and right in the midst of all this craziness she turns and looks and she sees this thing sitting right there in the same room with everybody just smiling at her and when that I first saw that scene I felt terror I was like oh my god I felt what she's feeling, what she has to be experienced, experiencing. And she was looking at everybody and saying, don't you see her? Don't you see her? Please tell me you see her. And then she turned back and she was right in her face. I was like, done. Yeah. Done. You know, it's one of those situations where if I had been in this kind of situation, I'd mentally have broken down. I would, Every, I would have... Everyone would, I think. I mean, she did in the film. I, I uh, also, Cal Penn is in this this movie. You guys know him from, um, uh, uh, what's it, White Castle? Um, oh, uh, Harold and Kumar. Yeah, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. He's in it. Uh, what's his name? Jesse T. Usher. Are you serious right now? Jesse T. Usher is in from this the film. Boys. Yeah, he's a, a big, big actor in The Boys. And basically, he's the same character, A-Train, in this film. He's also... Rose associates, um, I said Rose, Sosie's, uh, Rose Cotter's fiance, fiance, yeah, yeah. And so he, uh, like if you I, acted like him and this was happening to me, I would just, I don't know, I'd stop talking to you, I'd leave. He was, I hate the way he acted in this, like not really, his, not him as an actor, but the character, how the it, character acted toward what was happening. It's really, really a tough situation, though, because, okay, the character Rose has a history. And in her history, her mother committed suicide and her mother overdosed on drugs. And they say that as she was 
you know, on her way out of the world, she was losing her mind and things were happening. And so he looked into her past and said, hey, this could, could be hereditary. And she's like, no, it's not hereditary. Um, I don't, I can't really fully blame him. I don't think he was supportive enough in the film. Let's just say that, uh, you know, he, if, if you and I had an invested love of something in our home and then all of a sudden that love got destroyed and it was just me and you living in the house, I would have questions. I'll, I'll believe you. But if I start seeing crazy stuff happen and I can't see anything and, you know, you're fl- flailing around with knives and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, what, what? you're used to like the paranormal. You grew up with that stuff. Yeah. Most other people didn't know. So it's like if I know that you you had like one or two experiences growing up. I had many. But if you never had an experience and all of a sudden you said you're like there's something something is following me. I'd be looking at you like it's smiling. at. I'd say yeah. <laughs> I, I'm real, real happy for you, babe. That's what I would say. But back to Jesse T. Usher, uh, he was he was kind of douchey in the film. He was kind of douchey, dou- uh, douchebaggy in the film. Um, but uh, you know, he, he just he he was the same character from The Boys. He was A Train. I really liked it. Uh, I love some of the. There's another actor. His name is Rob Morgan. Uh, he was a, the man who was in prison that Rose had to go visit because he was the one person who escaped this thing and uh, she had to go and speak with him and, and that scene had so much weight to it and and seeing how it, that played out it was yeah the acting in that just that scene right there was amazing there's also um i don't know the guy's name but this being or whatever you want to call it you do see it in in, in the film and there's some scenes that my wife thought was comical like of it crawling around <laughs> But when you see it walking around and like coming after certain people, it's terrifying. It really, really is terrifying. But I would have to say this movie gets, this is a Blu-ray own. You know, this is something we have to watch in the movie theater. Um, this is something that we need to, you know, have and promote. And and I took my dad to see it. He loved it. It was so good. He, he had a senior moment and forgot where he was at the end of the film. He said, where are we right now? Um, it was really, really good. Um, a lot of people have some negatives to say about the ending because, uh, and I'm not going to spoil it. Let me just say it like this. Uh, everybody doesn't get a participation trophy in, in every movie. Sometimes bad things happen. Sometimes good things happen. But when a person has the courage to write a film and stand by their story and let that play out, and let whatever needs to happen for that film to come to fruition happen, I give him credit. The way this movie ended was even, it was more terrifying. I it, love the ending. Like, it was. Yeah, I, I thought it was great. It, it opened up a whole new door in my mind about what faith is, what belief is, because, you know, if you if you don't believe something and then you see it happen, and you didn't believe it or you were on the fence and, and to see i'm trying to think of the guy's name he was a police officer um his name in the film was joel officer joel he's a detective uh he was talking to rose and he's starting to kind of believe that this thing is maybe real and um there's comes a scene at the end of the film where he knows it's real and you see it in his eyes that he actually knows it's real and the weight of what is around him starts, you see it playing out in his eyes. And then that moment is so terrifying, so terrifying. And then the movie goes off. I was like, oh my God. It was super good. The way it attaches to people is like, it's, I like it. It's kind of new. It's not been done before. I don't think. Brutal. I can't recall. But v- it's very brutal. Yeah. Uh, the, the film is kind of a, a piece on mental trauma, you know? That's kind of the whole underlying tone of the, the film is that trauma creates more trauma and it creates more trauma. And it's kind of like that ubiquitous across the world. You know, people who go through things and experience pain and, and, and destruction sometimes put that pain and destruction onto others, you know? Yeah. And this film was a perfect representation of that ideology and I love this film I think everybody should see it please watch Smile let us know down in the comments what you think about Smile because um, 
it's it's a movie that's so good that I stopped building stuff and I came to do a Smile 2022 movie review with my wife. And we don't even have everything set up yet, but we want to sit down and talk about it because it's that damn good. Uh, it gets my thumb of, of approval. Very few movies are like the last of us to me <laughs> on that level. But this movie is really, really great. I've seen some reviews on YouTube of people talking about they didn't like it. Those people, I don't want to be your friends. You people are insane. This movie was fantastic. Yeah, I, I loved it. And I guess to each his own, but I thought it was one of the better scary movies. It was really, really good. Well, you guys, let us know if you've seen it. If you have, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know what you thought about it. Please give a thumbs up to help the algorithm and help the YouTube channel grow because we're coming back. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'm Kate. See you guys next time.